Hi, I'm Tom, uh, Business Development Director here at Cyan. Uh, I've been working in the live events industry, mostly in live music, for about 17 years now. Hi, um, I'm John Rogers, a freelance lighting designer and CAD specialist. Primarily a lighting rental company, um, but last sort of couple of years bought heavily into video as the integration between these two disciplines happens over the pandemic. Yeah, we've diversified into sort of you know spe specifically streaming, uh, as most people have um, done fairly well with it. Um, our facility here, it's it's always been here as a as a space for show rehearsal, um, but now to be able to use it uh, as a streaming studio uh, where we can do lights, video, audio, uh, and actually sort of the capturing side of it, i.e. Um, cameras uh, and the recording and all the mixing and the OB bit. Um, the ability to offer that in-house has been pretty useful for us. Capture as a program uh, works well for us. Um, whilst we do use other programs, uh, for me and a uh, number of colleagues, the ability to import basically anything into it, uh, which has been around in Capture for a little while now, but has sort of really come about in the last few revisions to be able to accept in pretty much any of the industry standard file formats of 3D models um, from anything from just DWG files to some of the more specialist ones uh, to be able to take that in um, which uh, different designers working in different packages will uh, will send us ability to have that into the system without too much manipulation gives us a good starting ground starting point to work from. And from a software perspective the tools that are always you know literally and figuratively in my bag are you know the control uh, software that I use to program which is Avalite primarily um, and then in terms of design work I have capture on my laptop which is a gaming laptop which I buy so it's portable and it can be with me wherever I am and the whole design process starts with capture for me and it can be basically checked into at every single point during the project from design to pitching renders to clients, pre-programming on it, uh, producing paperwork, plots, reports, um, and you know, farming that out. I, I also, uh, I'm lighting production manager on a couple of small festivals and that becomes, like Capture becomes the cornerstone of it because I'm producing documents for people to lay out power plans and cable and, uh, everything through to me actually pre-programming the gig. Visualisation as a process, it's key for us, whether it's uh, for working with someone else that have got their own design or for something we've cre uh, created in-house. Um, often we'll get sent a 2D plan. Um, we find drawing up in a 3D space allows us to see, uh, you know, spot any issues, especially with more complex shows, standard things, you know, a few trusses, yeah, pretty simple, you don't have to do a 3D for that. But where there's things that intersect, uh, especially lighting and video, where you've got things that, you know, come across the stage in different planes, and just how all of that interacts, trim levels uh, for trusses versus other elements, putting that into a sort of 3D model and just you just see a lot of the things that go oh that's never going to fit or that's supposed to be you know you're never going to have the trim height for that in any venue what do we do about making that actually work so it's working with the clients who might have drawn it in a flat environment uh, to then look how does that how will that work in the real world which of course 3d is the hopefully replication of I, I mean it's a good question why capture there's a lot of pre-visualization software on the market they all do um, they all sort of seem to specialise in slightly different areas. I found captures uh, for, for me is a great all-rounder that excels in a couple of areas. I think the rendering's really good in capture. I think the interface and the, the user experience of it, to use the, the term, is, um, is, is immediate and really, really quick to, to draw stuff in. The ability to send out CAD properly from a from an all-in-one solution that is the visualization, uh, the modeling, and the and the sort of the final output works great for us. Captures rendering engine. Uh, with each version, they've uh, improved it significantly. Uh, I think since Argo, I've been happy with it uh, in a kind of presentation sense when putting renders together to send to clients. The step from 2020 to 2021 has been, I think, the most notable uh, in the last few. Uh, the, the the fixtures look like fixtures. Uh, there's a you know they've really nailed the like things like dimming curve on tungsten elements, absolutely spot on. I mean, the other thing to talk about obviously is how much it costs to invest in the software and uh, you know 
years and years and years ago when I was sort of striking out and being freelance for myself, I, you know, look, obviously had to factor in cost, I think everyone has to factor in cost, but the amount that I paid out for capture and then uh, the ongoing costs, which, you know, its subscription model isn't even a subscription model, it's entirely optional and it's 150 euros a year after you've bought you know, the number of universes basically you want to output to. So, I mean, obviously being in a, a primarily an Ava Lights user, um, the integration with Capture is a, a huge boon in the design phase, especially um, the idea that I can select a bunch of lights in Capture and, you know, they've maybe they've changed and I change them in Capture and then they, you know, exchange automatically and auto patch and stuff in Ava is really nice. Um, it sort of means that I don't have to go from the PC to the desk to the PC. If they're just connected and the desk's over there, I can just not worry about it, it's doing its thing. Stuff like center positions, like a, you know, center positions are really boring. I can just right click on the stage and capture and it generates a center position that maybe I have to tweak when I'm, when I'm out on the road. But if you've drawn it well enough, you, you can get you know, pretty, bloody, pretty bloody close, which is nice. A lot of our clients use AVO, uh, work in capture themselves, some of them don't. Uh, on those occasions we can draw up a capture model uh, which they can load straight into the console and use the internal visualizer. That uh, for them makes it easy because they can program either on site or if they want to just sit in one of uh, our vid suites, uh, not have to have a full system but just be able to run from within all in one box their control surface and their visualization really simple, embeds itself in the show file. No, you know, once it's in, it's done. For times where they're using Capture as the visualization program on a sort of an external machine, um, so they've got the full experience, uh, being able to have Titan console Capture on the same network to be able to pull the patch information down. And then if they've built positions within Capture, which can be quicker to do by selecting, clicking, saving, and for that to then just appear in the console as a position palette, really quick. When handing over a design to someone who's operating for you, you can um, use your capture file and integrate that within the, the AVO show file because Titan uses the, the capture components engine to, uh, to, as its pre-visualizer, as inbuilt visualizer inside the desk, which is really useful because you don't know, you know, maybe they don't have a, a visualization machine to, to be able to run through the looks on, but they won't be, they won't be stuck, you know, they'll have, they'll have an ability to pre-visualize the show, which is really useful. I mean, if they do have their own machine that's like quite graphically capable as well, you can export the presentation file from, from Capture itself and that basically produces a little EXE or a, an app for Mac. So you just run it on its own on your machine, connect your lighting desk to it, and you can you know, control the theater as it was made there. You know, they can actually get hands-on with the desk and recreate the looks and the timings of them and you know, go through the operational procedure for it. What's great about Capture is the scalability within the software platform. Uh, whilst us as a sort of business, we will buy the full version, uh, the Symphony Edition, uh, and continue to do so because we need all of those features. Uh, not everyone does, uh, but the ability uh, for a, a freelancer or a student or someone that might be uh, not needing the full package or just be picking it up, uh, for us to be able to come up with something and then we, they can open it on their version or they can send us something there's no friction between that.